All right, what's up, everyone? So today we are working on a 04 CRF 50, putting on some tall bars. It's not our bike, but we hit our buddy up like, hey, listen, you should definitely put some tall bars on your bike so we can go goofing around and stuff. He said, all right, no problem. I'll send this stuff to your house. I said, all right, I'm picking up your bike, and we're going to get at this thing. He's like, all right, all right, I guess I'll let you work on my stuff. So I just want to do it for a good video for you guys, show you guys in. So this bike right here needs a little loving. Uh, kid owned it before he stickered it up, which is all good in that. But we're gonna power wash that all off, get this thing clean. Um, seems like I can't tell if it has a loss of power or it's just because it has a stock pipe on it. <clears throat> because ours has a Chinese pipe on it, and it 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 actually rips pretty good for a 50. Um, so what we're gonna do is also we already went through the car radar. Everything's good. Everything seems like it's running right on this thing. It just I don't know, it just doesn't seem like it's quite getting on the gas. It's not responsive like it should. Maybe it needs new, uh, you know, I don't know. Maybe it needs new coil. Maybe it needs new spark plug. Maybe it needs the valves, you know, readjusted. So we're going to do valves too on a different video. But this video, we're putting tall bars on. Let's get this thing cleaned up and let's get it. Guys, we got the 50 all clean. Did a pretty good job. And she's looking pretty dialed. Got all those stickers off. Unfortunately, there are little spots if you look close enough where... It's a little mix, you know, from just, there was a sticker there. So it is what it is. Plastics are pretty cheap, though, if the this guy wants to buy one. But, man, she is, she's looking good. But we're going to get her all dialed in. We're going to go through the car one more time, all that stuff. We're going to do another video on getting your CRF 50 dialed in if she's bogging down. So right now, let's go open this box up and see what we got for goodies. All right. So he ordered this stuff. We sent him a link. Well, I don't, I don't even remember what we told him to buy. It's BBR. Red BBR. What? That'd be nice. Oh, BBR kit. So, some handlebars. Okay. Comes with the uh, cables. Oh man, we're gonna be, we got a lot to do here. Yeah, it's pretty. The nice thing about this guy is when you buy this BBR kit, is is XR50? It will, yeah, it's for CRF50 or XR50. So, just not the Z50. Nice chrome bars. Look at the size of this thing. So, definitely a big BBR fan. This is gonna look really good, guys. So, I say we start getting some of this, uh, some of this stuff on. Is that a new? Oh, yeah, a new brake lever. We need a new brake lever. Yeah, his brake lever's all bent up. Cool. I was actually gonna show you guys how to bend those back. They're actually pretty easy. Hit them with the torch, and uh, put a wrench on there, and slowly uh, bend it back while applying heat, and you're good to go. But I guess we're not doing that today. So there you go. Here's a little tip. So let's get at this. Start taking some stuff apart. New throttle tube. Man. All right. So first things first, guys. Pretty much to start taking everything off here. Disassemble this. There should be a couple screws on the bottom. Yep, right there. Take those things off. And we're gonna undo this here. Um, don't worry. There is no clamp, and that's why you know the reason why you had to buy what you did for uh, your bar setup and all that. It's because these suckers are welded on. As a no boy know. That's why we need this whole kit to put some put some sweet bars on this thing. So, and then while we're doing all that, maybe upgrading cables, blah blah blah. Let's get at her. Alright, so pretty simple so far, guys. 14 mil takes those two off right there. Like I said, the Phillips screws come out. This will plop all off. And there you go. And uh, just use some side cutters. Just leave yourself a little length just in case there's some reason you want to ever go back. You have a little length here to splice her back in, but we left maximum length for whatever bar setup here, and uh, put our new kill switch in. So this here, that ah, we got the big nut back here, which uh, we're gonna get at that probably just with the good old crescent, and uh, get that off. All right, guys. So we did things kind of backwards a little bit here, but we already got our carb and all that hooked up with our slide, so you won't be using. Your stock one here anymore along with your cable or any of that stuff you'll now be using their aftermarket one with their aftermarket throttle cable that they give you the route up here to your throttle tube which we're getting ready to get this hooked up so 
probably easier to go the tube route first, but whatever. No big deal. So we're over here. We got this throttle tube apart, and uh, we're gonna get at this thing, get that thing hooked in there, right through there. That's what you want to do, and then she'll go through here. Easy peasy, lemon squeezy. All right, got the throttle tube on here, looking pretty good. It was pretty uh, close. Uh, didn't look like it was gonna seat there, but pretty good. Just make sure when you ever you're doing this that you got the throttle tube still. Uh, you know releases and all that so make sure it twists is good all right but now we're doing our front cable here so what we're going to do is come down here this is also a 14 mil same thing you used on your nut here we're going to zip that off and see if this cable just pulls out or there may be another nut up in here we'll get that out and then it'll pull out and we'll get the new stuff in all right guys we got the fresh cable already in here so make sure when you do this that you have the one nut on top and the one on the oops Make sure you have the one nut on top and the one on the bottom here. Don't forget your spring. And then we got this all hooked up here. Started routing it up. And now we're going to get our lever on before we start tightening anything up. Make sure everything's mocked up. Looking good. And then uh, kill switch time. Alright. Almost done. Kill switch is all wired in. So I'm going to give you guys... My personal opinion on this setup um, <clears throat> so what's nice about this here is that they made this to where it plugs directly into your harness here so your old wire just follow it through be a little like bracket here and there's one in here and then you follow it here it's really not as bad as it seems leave your old wire in and then just kind of follow you could even tape one up if you want and probably fish it through it's not that big of a deal but if you absolutely just don't want to do that and you got some wire crimps you could always just use your existing wire it's same color and uh yeah just wire in your new switch up here instead of directly plugging in here but it's, it's really not that bad guys just pay attention to what you're unplugging and then replugging back in um so my example is i really hate that we're getting rid of our stock kill switch system just because these are so dang reliable on these bikes here i've never had an issue with these i've had other ones have issues so now we're going to these buttons here in my opinion are very prone to fail so just to show you like we just redid our z50 here and i got a video on it but my main thing on this one was i wanted to keep the old school switch i didn't want to have to go to a new style like that Maybe it doesn't mean as much on a bike like that as it did to me on this right here. But either way, we got this setup going. Now it's time for the grips. All right, so got our grips here. As you can see, one hole is bigger than the other. So that means the bigger one here is going to go on your throttle tube. The smaller one's going to go on this side. Been on a hairspray uh, kick here. We did this for the old Z50. Worked pretty good. Old Herbal Essence. Got a little volume to her. And uh, smells like oranges. So we're going to uh, hit this one side up here. Never done a chrome bar before. This may be one of those, maybe one of those times that grip glue might win. So let's just spray in there real good. Give it a little dazzle. And ooh, she smells so good. Oh man, these, these puppies. Are... Tell you what, that ain't no joke right there. And, uh, Make sure you have them to your comfort. Gosh dang. So, I don't know if that's really... Eh, whatever. Good enough. Alright, so that side's on. Which, that was a dizzy. I don't think that's coming off. And, uh, lube her up. And uh, let her eat. Oh man. Man, these things. Oh man, that's nice. They even put the. It's nice. Alright, well, once they're on, holy schmolies, they are on. To be honest with you, they're so darn tight already. Alright. Not too shabby. She's already setting in. I can. That's quick. 
you know what? Those grips I, I tested before were pretty tight in the first place. Those are some serious grips. Um, so usually when you spray this on, it's pretty darn easy. So if you were messing with that glue stuff, once that glue starts to dry, you're done. Like, you're done. <laughs> so I guess I'm glad even more that we used hairspray because they're on there. All right, guys, that's our CRF 50 here with the BBR tall bar kit on here. And she's looking good. Grips are on there nice and tight. Front brakes, nice and adjusted. All the cables are perfect to length. Really do like that setup. Good front pad bar, which is one thing our bars didn't come with, but that's okay. We don't need that. And uh, just overall, bike bike's looking good, not running great. All right, but that's going to be our, another video on figuring out how to get this thing all tuned up ready to go well we were cleaning up our extra parts for this and then we realized that they gave us a whole bracket for our number plate here which is freaking awesome you can see here like i just got creative put some zip ties around the inside of the bolts here zipped them and she's on there pretty good but they give us the right piece so what we're going to do is cut these off here shim this down nice and flat and then uh, we'll put this piece on, get her mounted up, and uh, she'll be good to go. And you see this part here goes just like that. And then right on the back side here, there's that bolt right there. So just adding that in, guys. Just a little little part right here. Get your number plate squared up. Good to go. So perfect little setup if you just want to ride the bike around the neighborhood. Or if you plan on doing some serious pit biking, doing some gnarly jumps, whatever you plan on doing. Those bars are going to do it for you. Hi right, guys, so highly recommend the old BBR kit for your XR or your CRF. So that's it for today. Hope you guys uh, enjoyed the video. Hope it helps you out. And we'll uh, see you later.